Hey guys, it's Nate, aka The Foot Accountant. Welcome back to the channel. This market on FIFA 23 just continues to go up and up and prices are going higher and higher because there is a lot of gameplay demand and there's not a lot of ways right now where EA are draining coins out of our club. So prices just keep going. Look at Mbappe, 870,000 coins. These prices are up so much. Is it time to start thinking about selling? It might be, and that's what I wanna talk about in today's video. We expected this market rise to happen, right? We said it in yesterday's video that the Friday night into Saturday market rise would probably be pretty good, and a lot of cards are going up. Now, of course, with the SBC Eric Bailly that we had dropped yesterday, some cards are moving down, specifically in the center back department, because people are selling the center backs that they have to go and do this really well-valued SBC. So there are parts of the market that are moving downward, but a lot of your meta stuff is up and that's what maybe we need to be thinking about selling on this game we're going to talk about that all of the winter wild cards team two content from yesterday some really nice cards that they dropped maybe not quite as hype as team one but a really good objective a good sbc and eric Bailly, and the promise for more later on this week and maybe even as soon as this weekend maybe a mini release today on saturday we'll talk about what to expect for today on the game as well. So if you're excited for this video, hit the thumbs up, subscribe if you're new. Let's continue the market conversation because so many cards have gone up in price. And this is the number one example just to see in the last week, right? Since December of 20, since Christmas, basically, Mbappe has gone from 718,000 coins all the way to 870. Man, he has not been 870K since we had the big sell-off heading into Christmas with all the market crash and stuff like that. And guys, remember, the way the market works is it starts Starts high. All cards do this. Well, except fodder. All cards that are meta start high and they just drop all year long and they drop low, 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 right? I mean, if you take a look at Mbappe's card last year, he was definitely dropping heading into team of the year in early January. You can see here, right? We get to the end of December. We have a nice market rise like we did early January. It peaks. And then as team of the year gets closer, boom, all the way down to 800K. So he goes from a million, 1.06, down to uh, 886. So a big drop there. Of course, the market this year is so much cheaper and we've seen prices be a lot lower. That makes me even a little bit more scared with more supply and more cards on the market, especially with this combined market this year between Xbox and PlayStation. I know that's, that's been affecting the market all year long for sure with the way prices are, but just the fact that Mbappe was 718K a couple weeks ago and is now 866. I even think about some of your meta golds like Gold Van Dyke. Now I know that this Van Dyke is still in packs because EA kept the best of, the winter best of in packs, but look at Van Dyke from 66K up to 92,000 coins. Even on like a low tier end, Kyle Walker, take a look at this, 12,000 coins. I mean, that's still holding a really, really good price for an 85 rated card that a lot of people want to use in their teams. Um, and that's a card that a lot of people that are getting FIFA for the first time for Christmas are wanting to use for their team as well. Uh, so we have just some really high prices on the market, especially for out of packs cards. Um, not necessarily, I mean, I think also with the high prices on the market, it's making some of these winter wild cards be a bit inflated. I mean, these cards are going up out of packs, most of them, right? Mendy is up. De Bruyne is slightly low right now, but Sancho was 350. Felix was 650. Conte was 800K. Lacazette over 300. These guys are rising very nicely. Ismaili was 18K yesterday, and right now he's 24. And especially as we take a look on some of the other out of packs cards, some of those heroes, right? But the team of the tournament cards, Harry Kane, 170. Foden's 300 plus. Uh, the Casemiro was 200K earlier than day yesterday. Some of these lower tier cards even, like... Um, Doomfreeze. Doomfreeze was 40,000 coins and now he is 60k, right? 40 to 60,000 coins. If you've got some of this in your team, I really think that this is maybe a time to be a little bit ahead of the curve and start thinking about selling some of these cards. Could the market go up for a couple more days this weekend and, and maybe even a little bit more into this week? Yes, that's definitely a possibility because as of right now, what what is there going to be released and what is there going to be dropped? that is gonna really make the market crash, you know? That's the other side of the coin here is, Nate, what right now is gonna make prices drop besides player SBCs that we're getting every single day that I need to sell, um, sell my club for and sell my team for, but guys, I mean, like just again, how much these prices um, have gone up on some of these cards out of packs is really, really crazy, and I just think that we're getting really, really close for a time to sell, especially for a guy like Ganduzi. I mean, 200,000 coins for Ganduzi. He was 230 when the buy SPC dropped. 
But guys, this guy was like, what, 80, 90K, and now he's 200,000. It's just like last year in FIBA 22, right? Huge spike on Ganduzi. So I would say if you have a card in your team that is up exponential amounts from one of the previous promos like a week or two ago, I would consider selling it just because when it comes down to like selling before everybody else does, you know, you might be selling your team a little bit early right now, right? And you could say, well, Nate, it might go up a little bit more this weekend or Nate, I want to use this team for like next weekend and stuff. But if you sell ahead of the curve, you're going to be selling at probably a little bit more of the peak price. And then as prices are dropping in the next couple of weeks, you're going to be very happy that you sold. Because one thing that usually drains a lot of the market that we haven't seen that much of recently are the insane SBCs on like the gamble side of things. I know that we had the 86 plus player pick for the heroes, the World Cup hero, but that SBC was not that expensive and it was so easy to craft with the fodder packs and with the extra player picks and objectives we are getting right now. So much fodder is attainable. People didn't have to spend that many coins to do that SBC and fodder only went up a little bit. So there's not a ton of coin drain there, but I think in the next week, in the next two weeks, that could switch around and you could see prices start to drop. So I'm not telling that you 100% have to sell today. I'm just saying it just feels like this market and the way that EA like to run this game, market prices are so high right now that it's tough to think that it could go a lot higher that would make it worth holding on to a lot of these cards and hoping for a bigger rise and then selling. It just might be a safe time to take the cash on some of those cards on this game because absolutely once we get towards team of the year you are going to see some pretty big sell off so that's kind of my my thought process there yesterday on the market um winter wild cards from team one like we mentioned did have a nice rise i mean take a look at like the lacazette perfect example number one he is up about thirty thousand coins he's like 310k he was 280 so he's having a nice rise. Um, Conte is up. Felix is up. The Sancho. A, a lot of those teams went up. And then basically the only stuff that like dropped a lot on the market yesterday were center backs. And center backs dropped because we had a really good Eric Bailly SBC. People sold cards to go out and do the Eric Bailly. Now, some of these center backs are actually rebounding. I bought a couple Romeros in the 250 range, um, and he is kind of rebounding back up. Cordoba was about 330. He was 360, went down to 330, and I believe he's probably getting close to about 350 now. Yeah, 350. So, you know, some of your center backs are down in price, but that's just because we had a really good Eric Bailly SBC dropped for a good price. And a lot of people are going to do that SBC since it fits in with what's kind of hype right now. Everybody has the Payette in their team, or a lot of people do. The League One links are doing very well. That Ganduzi, of course, is a very popular card. Medium high work rates, nice card, solid card, and it's pretty cheap to do. Footbin has it coming in at 70K. That's really cheap. One squad, a lot of fodder attainable right now. That's easy for so many people. So that's why I think you see center backs going down a little bit on the market. Now, let's talk about these winter wild cards from team two because they are also just in tune with the way the market is right now. Very very expensive like yes this Joshua Kimmich card looks insane uh with the 99 dribbling boost right a couple 99 boost in the squad as well yes the Benzema looks insane but like is this card really worth 2.1 million coins you know what I'm saying uh like I know it's really really rare and it's day one I feel like these cards just like winter wild cards team one did last week I think team two will have some good fluctuations into Saturday morning maybe some late night low prices Friday night rise into Saturday a little bit, but then during the day Saturday, probably going to drop off a good amount. That's exactly what happened last week with team number one, because these cards are rare. I'm looking at Rafael Varane, and to me, guys, Rafael Varane is super overpriced. Tamori is 550k, and I think the reason why this Varane is expensive, it's day one, of course, day one hype. People that are trying to trade with this maybe push the price down a little bit right now. He was just 800k. It's just Varane, right? And I think that's why the stats wise, I think Tomori is almost just as good. But of course, people, when I try to brand new card, that's also probably why he's a bit expensive. But be very careful with these brand new winter wild cards. Um, because, I mean, especially here's a one to one for you. Look at Gabriel Jesus. We just had a Jorginho SBC that so many people are doing as a right wing player. They've got Jorginho in their club. This, this Jesus has dropped. He's 800, 900,000 coins right now. Compare him to Joao Felix, and Joao Felix is a better card, and he's 700K, and he's even up in price, right? So it's just the day one rarity for these cards. Um, there weren't a lot of safe packs for this promo. There wasn't a ton of supply yesterday. And as you can see here, I'm, I'm looking at 125,000 coin lightning rounds right now that were posted up. 
basically 30 minutes ago. These have been out here for, for 31 minutes and I believe only 12,000 packs have sold. They put out 90,000 of these. There's still 78, which is crazy, right? That those are not selling that fast. Usually when there's hype cards and packs, those are going, they're going pretty fast, but that just goes to show you that not a ton of people are spending FIFA points, at least on these packs right now. And that's why the winter wild cards are pretty rare on the top tier. Now on the low tier, some of these guys are down to discard already. You've got Kevin Prince Boateng and Veghorst. Cool cards, right? We can't talk about Winter Wild Cards team too without talking about these. Just fun cards, right? Position change, a center back. That's pretty dope. 99 speed, Milinkovic Savage. He's a card I would want to watch. I, I would say this has more hype or almost as much hype as Butlin. I know he doesn't have five-star, five-star like Butlin did, but this is a special Serie A goalkeeper, and he's got 99 speed. So many people want to try that out. He's also six foot eight. He's massive. So with that speed and the height, um, and of course, a lot of people watch him during the World Cup, uh, that's kind of an interesting card there. I, I definitely want to try him out. I'll put him in the team. I've got Serie A players to link him up with. So... Definitely interested in that card, but Verts is nice. Brahim Diaz with a cool upgrade. You know, Amavi is a really popular card from this promo as well. I thought he was still in Ligue 1. He's, at, he's in La Liga now, but a, another La Liga right back, especially with the France links. This is going to be an incredible investment out of packs, whatever his low point is. La Liga right back with the French links is huge, and it's a really good card. Five-star weak foot, so technically, if you wanted to move him in-game, you probably could play him on the left as well, and he's got really good stats in-game. Composure's a little bit low, but for a cheap French right back, this is going to be a go-to for so many people throughout the rest. It's kind of like um, the left-back Delane from last year in Winter Wild Cards. I'm getting the same vibes with this Amavi, but I do expect all of the Winter Wild Cards to drop down more in price today, um, especially on Saturday as we get more supply, as people you know sell them off, and, and as the weekend league kind of hype dies down just a little bit. That's normally what happens on Saturdays with brand new promo cards anyway. So that's what's going on with those. Let's talk about fodder because no new crazy SBCs really putting fodder in demand yesterday. Look how low these guys are going. Now, there are some people that are investing for sure, but like 86s were 10K. They're now right around 11,000 coins. 87s were like 14 to 13K. 88s are like 21,000 coins. 89s, people are buying this up a little bit. And I think also people are seeing, we talked about this in last night's video as well, like the price of SBCs like Jarzinho and um, Maldini are definitely going down because fodder is dropping 940 for Jarzinho and 280 for Maldini. That's like down 50k for almost both of them from where they were. Fodder looks like a pretty good club stock. Again, um, I don't know if I would go all out with a fodder investment. I would probably just grab some and put it in the club uh, because we need a big time SBC to make this stuff go up, right? I mean, 88's expecting them to go to 30K or 28K again soon is probably unlikely until we have some huge, huge uh, demand out there for high rated fodder. And especially with how attainable fodder is right now as well. EA is just throwing fodder at us everywhere we go with the, all the objective packs. Uh, this week, we're going to have the rewards from the guitar, the guitar World Cup rewards, like collecting the red cards, right? Uh, the level 10, all that stuff. This comes out on Wednesday. So yes, that's going to make some people go out and do SBCs. I wonder if EA knows that this is going to be dropping and that people are going to have a lot of excess fodder. So, you know, it makes me think that maybe this week we'll get some good SBCs. Might be a good time for a club stock this weekend on fodder. I would say get on the bids, especially um, as not as many people are maybe looking at that part of the market. Get on the bids for sure. And I think you'll be able to make some profits later on in the week. Just um, go between the 84s and the 89s. The only fodder right now that's actually up is 90s and 91s. These guys held their price pretty well. Like, of course, 90s were, uh, these guys were 40K. And they're still up. I think that's because of the Jarzinho having so much hype and people needing to buy a couple high-rated cards to get those SBCs done and completed for him. So I think I would stay away from 90s and 91s since they're already up a little bit. Uh, but, you know, 85s in the low 6s on bid, 86s at like 10K, 87s even at uh, like 13. You, you can't go wrong. I mean, the new Boateng is the cheapest. And Weghorst, two of the cheapest 87-rated cards as promo cards. That's kind of funny, but you know, I would want to see 84s get down to like 3k or below 
I think 84s are having a bit of demand still because think about all the SBCs like Eric Bailly, the Hullet, um, you know, all of these good lower tier SBCs, the, the Oxford, the Payette, the Tony Cruz. There's a lot of low rated 84, 85 squads in those. That's keeping your 84s inflated. So I don't know if I would go too hard on 84s unless they get down to like below 3K as well. But that's going on with the fodder market. It is very, very low. And I think there is a good potential for a club stock for a hopeful rise next week. Now let's talk about Saturday content today. Last week on Saturday, EA surprised us a little bit with an early mini release. And based off of the leaked cards that we had, I think out of this team, there's only two that we didn't get. We didn't get Pepe and we didn't get Ander Herrera. We got Brahim Diaz, we got Boateng. So I believe this is Ander Herrera and I believe this is Pepe. So other than those two, I don't know who's going to be that third card in the mini release because the rest of these we already have in packs in the current squad. So maybe there's a surprise for us today uh, that EA might be putting out, but I do expect to see the mini release potentially today, I guess. Um, I mean, last week it was on Saturday, which was a bit of a surprise, but Saturday would make sense if they are going to re-release uh, another batch of winter best of. Now these guys are still in packs and we were wondering what was going to happen we had no idea still very confusing and it's i mean annoying from ea to be honest that these guys are still in packs because we have no communication about this um but these guys of course were put in packs last sunday on christmas um and a lot of them are i mean some of them have fluctuated around a good amount but a lot of them are down like if you look at lisandro martinez that's probably our, one of our best examples Yesterday, we were looking at him at like 65K and it looked, okay, if these guys were going to go out of packs, it might be a decent buy. Lissandro is now 50,000 coins because even more supply hit the market for these guys, especially for the lower rated ones. They're going to get packed a lot. So could there be a mini release today because this best of is still here? Maybe. Watch out for that for today on Saturday content. And then keep an eye on these best of cards. I still think there's an investment potential here, but I think now they must be either going out of packs on Sunday for New Year's Day or maybe they're going out of packs next Friday when Winter Wild Cards 2 will be going out of packs. It's just a mystery. We don't have any idea. And it's just confusing because EA is not providing the information that we need to make informed decisions. And uh, even just to know, like, when should I open my packs because XYZ cards are in packs right now, EA? Like, that'd be nice if we had some input on that and some info. But unfortunately, we hear nothing, and it's radio silent on EA from, from that angle. So that's a bit unfortunate there, but we're going to continue to watch those cards in the market because they are definitely in demand, uh, and there's some nice cards in there, and it makes open, opening packs uh, even better right now with these added specials in here. But with that being the case, mini release could be again today on Saturday, so watch out for that if any of those players uh, check your fancy. We'll see if, who, what the other third surprise player is because usually mini releases have three players, but... We'll have to see. And then the daily player SBC, we've had a lot of leaks still. I mean, Silas, we have not seen yet. The Eric Bailly finally dropped. There's a lot of other like Bundesliga players and Bella Garde, that French center mid. Maybe Bella Garde is coming today. I got, again, like we don't know what's going to drop with these um, with these daily player SBCs, except we know we're getting one every single day. So another daily player SBC lay. Not sure who it'll be for sure. And then the last thing I want to at least take a stab at and maybe predicting this is I think they could put the 500k pack back in the store. They did the 300k pack again, out for three days, 21 hours left. So I think they could be dropping the 500k pack again. This was like the same rotation they did last week. Friday, they dropped the winter snowstorm. And then Saturday, they dropped the 500k. Maybe it's coming today. We will see. Actually, I think they maybe dropped the 500k on Sunday last week. That might be incorrect. But in the next two days, the 500k pack, I would imagine, would be back here. Uh, because it's specifically named the winter special pack for this promo, right? So there's that. I don't know about a token pack um, because EA, if they would have dropped a token pack yesterday, we would have been up to 20 tokens. But unfortunately, we are only at 19. So hopefully today is token number 20. And that brings at least a little bit of hype because all those 83 times 75, um, I guess the people that are on the grind or the quest for those, you will be able to be uh, getting those today if they drop the 20th token. So yesterday we had two, one via the Winter Wild Cards Challenge SBC and one inside of the Cup Objective, which just to speak about this really fast, this is a W, W Cup. Um, you can play four games a day and it resets every single day. You play one, you play two, you have to play two to get the token, that's all you have to do. But then if you win 10 games throughout the week, this is live, 
you get an 85 double and a winter wild cards player pack at the end. So it's the same reward as the daily login SBC, but it's for some gameplay. So that's a W. GG's the EA for that. And the uh, mode is not really restrictive. It's just four games a day. So you get on, you play your four games, get a couple wins, hopefully, and you work towards that winter wild cards player pack. That's a W objective in my book. Now, let's look ahead in the future and kind of spin it back to talk about market just for a second because we got some info yesterday about what promo is next. So we're in the middle of Winter Wild Cards 2, but we know what's happening next. And this actually is nice to know because it takes us all the way up to team of the year. Foot Centurions is going to be another two-week promo. Next Friday on the 6th will be the first team with a mini release on Sunday. Team 2 will be the next week after that with a mini release the day after. And then team of the year will be starting on January 20th, a Friday start for a team of the year, probably putting attackers in packs first. I believe they've been doing that this year or the re past years, most recent, um, they've been doing the attackers first. We'll have to do a lot of um, research and start thinking about team of the year. But this is again why we talked about, hey, maybe it's a decent time to sell because these next two weeks, especially with the Centurions promo, to me, EA is probably going to not have a lot of the great objectives in the store that it's going to supply everybody with fodder. And what that is going to do is, as they drop SBCs over time, it's going to start draining people's clubs. They're not going to have fodder as easy. They're going to have to use coins to go buy fodder. Fodder is going to go up in this early part of January, and the prices on the market are going to go down as people and as EA start to drain clubs and people sell cards from their club uh, to get ready for all the SBCs that are out. And as, as people also sell because team of the year is right around the corner. So, and we're only like, what, 10 days away from team of the year voting as well. January 10th, that's going to start some of the hype of team of the year is when we get news about team of the year voting and stuff like that. So that's why, again, I just kind of go on record and saying I think it's a decent time to be selling cards right now with the way that the market looks. Now, last thing, if you're wondering about Foot Centurions, we had this card design leak during Black Friday. This is the card design. It kind of looks almost like very luxurious and very regal, like the team of the year card design is. I mean, you've got the 100 in here. Some people think the Centurions promo might be based around 100 games played, 100 goals, 100 assists, or you know, who knows, something with 100, right? That's even in the card design. So that's our next promo kind of a crazy car design honestly different very different from what we usually have but that is coming this next friday so that's kind of the leak and that's our next big set of information we'll probably get more information about centurions later on this coming week but that's going to be the video for today guys again good luck with your foot champs i know a lot of people are grinding out there good luck with your cup games make sure you're keeping up to date on the daily logins and all that good stuff there's a lot to keep up with right now in this game the content is good but sometimes the prices in the market just look like or at least right now they might be a little bit too good so we're going to be very careful with that get some overnight flips in sell some good cards while the prices are up i had some good flips yesterday haven't realized the profits yet but like look at this salah man the salah just went all the way up to 685 so i'm gonna list this for be a cheeky lister at 679 got that for 600k a lot of stuff is going to be really really good to sell at these really high prices on this market this weekend so that's going to be the video for me if you did enjoy it smash the thumbs up comment down below if you have any questions and subscribe if you're new it's been nathan with account i'll catch you guys later peace out